Welcome to the AI Research Roundup. I'm Alex. Today, we're looking at a paper from the Hugging Face Trending List, published on October 8, 2025, just yesterday. The big contribution is a full-stack survey that unifies how vision, language, and robot actions come together to produce generalist control policies that can transfer across tasks and hardware. The paper is titled, Vision Language Action Models for Robotics, a review towards real-world applications. And as we'll see later, the implications for model training and deployment are quite significant. Beyond the overview, the survey maps architectures, training strategies, data sets, platforms, and benchmarks, and distills practical guidance for real-world robots. All right, the previous segment framed the survey's scope. Figure 1 lays out the roadmap, centering on a vision language action model that links vision, language, and control. The left stack covers design strategy and transition, architecture and data modality, and training strategy, which define how the policy is built. The right stack highlights data collection and augmentation, plus robot evaluation and application, so deployment stays grounded. A top banner marks core challenges, and a bottom bar delivers practitioner recommendations. So, figure one, set the roadmap. Figure two shows a timeline that tracks how models progress from convolutional baselines to modern vision language action systems. The left side starts with CLI port, then transformer agents like Gato and VIMA. The middle highlights real-world backbones such as RT1, RT2, and OpenVLA, followed by diffusion models like Octo and RDT1B, and Flow with Pi0. The right end introduces latent action and hierarchical control with LAPA and GR00TN1, which signals a push toward longer horizons and more reliable control. All right, the previous figure traced the model evolution. Figure 3 summarizes the system layout, with three panels that connect inputs, architectures, and training. The left panel lists data modalities such as vision, language, action, and other sensors. The center panel contrasts sensory motor, world, and affordance models, which differ in whether they predict actions directly or use predicted futures and affordances. The right panel highlights supervised learning, self-supervised learning, and reinforcement learning as complementary training routes. Okay, the previous figure summarized the system layout. Figure 4 maps seven sensory motor architectures that differ in how they turn tokens into robot actions.